Hello everyone, that's here back again to another video and today we're going to take a look at Sag23's ROM version 6.2 for Galaxy S7 and S7 Edge. So as you can see over here we're going to about phone and software information as usual to take a look at the Android version which is 7.0, Samsung Experience version which is 8.1 and uh, that the security patch is the 1st of July 2017. You can also take a look at the build number over here. As you can see I'm using this ROM with Notorious Kernel version 1.8.1 .1, which is from the 21st of uh, July and uh, it's been uh, working uh, very good for me. Uh, so uh, to start off we're skipping version 6 and 6.1 because uh, there were a couple of bugs that were fixed in this version So uh, for example when you open the game, so this is the first one I can look of when you open the game uh, You got a black screen and you had to go into the recent menu and then go back to the game so that it uh, can uh, be working uh, normally so um, the next thing was that uh, the clipboard uh, wasn't working so for example if I come over here you can see that uh, right now the clipboard is uh, working perfectly whereas uh, before the phone freezed for 20 to 30 seconds and then restarted it but uh, all of those things were fixed right now and the only uh, bug I'm uh, experiencing with this version is that uh, only one time my Wi-Fi uh, wasn't able to turn on so uh, when I clicked uh, it was off and when I clicked uh, to turn on it was just uh, uh, saying turn on and uh, it stayed like that and it didn't turn on but uh, soft uh, reboot of the phone um, made uh, everything working perfectly I've told Zach about that he uh, said he got an idea why this is happening and he's going to, to fix it so uh, no major issues uh, with this uh, ROM as you can see over here face and walk is uh, working uh, perfectly by straight and walking the phone you can see uh, when uh, it is my face that uh, the phone is unwalking, I hope uh, you just saw it. So it's uh, working 100% uh, of the times, so I got no issues with it and uh, when the phone is uh, actually looking at me, it's uh, working more than perfectly. Uh, the battery life has been uh, very good for me over here, as you can see I got 22% uh, and uh, I've been using the phone for 17 hours and 35 minutes and I got a screen on time of almost 3 hours, so probably I get uh, 3 and a half to 4 hours. I use, I'm using a lot of Snapchat, so this is a very big uh, battery general because it uses locations, camera and uh, mobile data as well as play a couple of Clash Royale, Messenger and uh, all of those stuff over here. I uh, use the Spotify a lot in, uh, during this uh, battery cycle. Also you have S power planning uh, so you can reserve battery for calls by uh, turning your phone to uh, ultra power saving mode at a certain percentage if you want that and you can use only the messaging and phone application you have extend battery time but this is working oh so right now it's working which is really cool because um, before a couple of hours I tried it and it said that uh, it still hasn't more um, warned my uh, uh, usage pattern but uh, as you can see right now it's working so uh, I'm getting into this menu for the first time so um, I'm not sure what it actually is doing uh, but as you can see it can uh, it's not putting the phone into ultra power saving mode so this is interesting I'm going to take a look at it if it's uh, really working also here it is depending on your usage maximum power saving mode will be turned on automatically when necessary the battery life remaining after maximum power saving mode is turned on may vary based on your phone usage so yeah this is uh, actually automatically turning on your uh, maximum power saving mode which is almost the same as uh, this option but I'm not sure we'll take a look at that also we have forward calls when no battery so when your battery dies you can uh, have a phone automatically set over here so that when you got no battery your calls will be forwarded to uh, another device so uh, this is really cool uh, from the battery side also if you are not using this uh, go to the bottom of this menu and go to always sleeping apps so that these apps will uh, never be able to run in background which will reserve a lot of battery this is uh, something like greenify but uh, in uh, system wise because it's uh, from uh, Samsung so uh, the next thing let me just take a look at my notes um, the next thing is that you have edge widening uh, you got uh, the edge feet and everything over here is working uh, perfectly fine so uh, nothing wrong over here 
uh, when we go to uh, the row control application everything is the same as the previous version besides a couple of changes so the first one is album art so right now when you're uh, playing music uh, let me just demonstrate that so uh, this feature is only working when you have uh, a stock wallpaper set it so right now I will set uh, this infinity wallpaper right now let me just do that so uh, when we got a music playing so I got Fade by Alan Walker when when you walk the phone you have yeah so I just watched a video of uh, Nico Rosberg so uh, it took it from YouTube as well so uh, basically this feature uh, puts uh, puts whatever you're watching uh, as an the album art as uh, your wallpaper so uh, probably if I turn the volume yeah so I think it should be working right now so probably it should refresh I don't know or it's not reading this uh, this album art so let me take a look right now yeah so as you can see this working probably it was uh, because of this uh, so let me take a look over here so yeah it's working um, the next thing uh, when we go to the SAC 23 settings so we can also change the image opacity the next thing that is changed over here is uh, you can have your notification expanded all the time so with that you can see that uh, this notification from the music player is staying like that whereas without it it is like this so all of your notifications are like drop drag down the next thing over here I don't like this feature <laughs> that much so I'm not using it uh, you have status bar brightness control when your brightness is set to manual so as you can see when I turn it on by doing this I am changing the brightness of the phone it's not a really cool thing to do with one hand but when it's too automatic it's not working so I'm leaving it leaving my brightness just on automatic but this is a cool thing to have heads up notification is when you receive a notification the pop-up is coming over here so uh, this is uh, something cool to have and uh, you can change the time that the notification is staying over here and uh, the biggest feature at least for me is notification quiet hours so uh, you can change, you can schedule your notification LED white, the notification sound and the notification vibration. So this is like something like a profile switch. So you can see right now, I have always on display staying from 12 p.m. to 12 a.m. So uh, right now it is uh, 14 o'clock. So you can see that I have my always on display, but uh, on the other time, I have my LED white during the night so that my always on display doesn't drain uh, battery when it's uh, when I'm sleeping and uh, if I woke up I can see that I got a notification with the LED white so uh, this is something really cool you can also schedule your notification sound and uh, the vibration so this is uh, something really cool and I stay notified about uh, my notifications all the time also you have uh, the key mapping modes and everything under warning and interfaces you have the volume warning and uh, to wake up uh, the phone the screen when uh, you plug in a USB device so uh, all the other things I'll leave uh, a link to a video which will pop up over here in the top right corner uh, where I covered uh, the full ROM control application so I just uh, show you over here the changes so uh, basically uh, this is it guys uh, the ROM is uh, working uh, perfectly Everything is uh, everything is just flawless. So there's nothing uh, more to want from this ROM, except uh, so you can see that the face the face on walk feature is just uh, my favorite thing. Let me just make that so you can see how fast it's unwalking. Le yeah, so right now it's uh, taking a look at uh, me or not. So you can train that by going to settings, uh, walk screen and uh, security, smart walk, and then you write in your password. And uh, when you go to trusted face, you have improved face matching. So uh, right now you can uh, scan your face and uh, in this whitening conditions and it will unwalk straightly right now. But uh, so far, uh, of course, when I'm doing the video, it will not work uh, that good, but uh, it's been uh, working uh, perfectly. So uh, go and check this ROM. It's uh, amazing, the battery life at least for me is uh, amazing, the standby time is uh, uh, amazing as well. 
So uh, be sure to check it out, it's worth it and uh, a cool thing is also that when you type in your password it straight on works without having uh, to click that OK button and a bug has been fixed when you click over here that uh, after one or two incorrect uh, pin enters uh, your phone uh, was locked for one hour but now this is fixed also a full change walk will be into the description so uh, thank you for watching if you have any questions uh, about uh, these uh, two devices the s7 and the s7 edge be sure to leave them down below i will be sure to uh, answer your questions uh, thank you for watching and uh, see you soon with uh, the newest version of those uh, really really cool roms peace